you see me. That jealousy is an ocean, and you either float or you sink. Moment of truth, credit check. You not a pool, BB King. I'm in love with the blues. Don't start me up, I got finishing moves. Look. Uh, salute when you see me. Slid through all the commotion. It's breaking news, they got an ad on TV. Popping out all of my politics and probably in a section where you're not permitted. My honey's matching my Dodger fitted, playing all go, ain't no stopping in it. Look, yeah. so look when you see me, I bought her a CC and that was her purse. Disgusting with do for a purse, disgusting with do for the clout. I'm one of the realest, the realest could vouch. They thought I was done, but all that f out, you gotta play my little bitch around. So look when you see me, put in the car to the my runner gets you speedy. Still thugging like the days when they weren't here in my city. Made it out of the trenches. Yeah, salute when you see me. Yeah, salute when you see me. I'm getting greedy. I blow the whole budget on me. That's on me. I'm conceited. Treaty. Nah, that ain't how we treat it. This right here sound like a three-peat. I put the dip in it sound like I'm needy, but I'm like, oh, I'm fucking too needy. Me and HB going Juvie and BG. They gotta put my face on the box of Wheaties. I'm praying for whoever think they compete. Salute when you see me. That's all he ever, so that's how you greet me. I'm going TM 101 cheesy, and plus they got D2 on repeat. Tonight, from Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, California, it's Sunday Night Football. Jimmy Garoppolo and the San Francisco 49ers taking on Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. From the host of Super Bowl 50 back in February of 2016, there's a look at the home of the 49ers, Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. The scene a short time ago, this crowd, they love their 49ers, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room, and we're ready for football as the 49ers get set to do battle with the Green Bay Packers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis, and Charles, you take a look at these 49ers as they interplay here. It's been a great campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go, but they've come out playing good fundamental football, and that might carry them a long way. It's the first weekend of autumn, and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. Brandon Ayuk, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. And Charles, we get a look here at the key inactives. And I tell you what, a big list for being this early in the season. If there's any silver lining at all, you're hoping you can get these guys back. And now you'll play well down the stretch with them. But what you're also hoping is that the guys who have to play for them, the next man up mentality kicks in, and those guys take care of business. The 49ers traded up to snag Brandon Ayuk and pick 25 in the 2020 draft out of Arizona State. He was in and out of the lineup a little bit in his rookie year, only played in 12 games, but was awfully productive when he was out there with 60 catches. And there's another one this time for a first down. Tackle made by Devondre Campbell. A good solid game there on first down, but the defense has to be happy they didn't let it pop for anything bigger. From the 45 on second down, Garoppolo. That's caught by Ayuk on the slam. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. on the guard, Lakin Tomlinson. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. 
Looking to throw, Garoppolo. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Garoppolo now. And he hauls it in, in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the 49ers drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Point, and that makes the score 7 0. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Rodgers going to return it from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. The numbers for Jones last week, 12 carries, 96 yards. They've got a nice scheme going right now, and they run the football pretty well. In fact, I was talking with him on the field before the game, and he said he's starting to hear from the guys ahead of him on the rushing yardage total, and they want to know if he's going to jump up there and join them at the top of the list. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And it's a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Fourth down on is Corey Bohorquez to punt as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. And Bohorquez on to punt as he gets it away. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say, when you're running the big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at the 34. And this is caught. I think he got that with one. 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. The numbers last week for Mitchell, 18 carries, 64 yards and a touchdown. They've won two straight games and have done it with the running game as the focal point of their offense. So in this contest, I don't think about doing anything else. I continue to ride the hot hand that I've established and lead with the runners. Right back to him on first down. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Preston Smith there on the stop. From midfield, here's Garoppolo. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And the Packers are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. So a first interception thrown for him there, and that really not the best decision either. Not at all, and that's something he did not do in their victory last week. No interceptions in that game, but this defense, they're able to take advantage of an early mistake. Now let's see if it got turned it into points. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, this defense for the Niners, very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to 2-0 on the young season. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there, and they came away with three interceptions in that game. Now left side on the swing pass. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 
That was a beautifully executed screen pass. Let the rushers get upfield. The blocking forms in front, lofted it to the runner. And now, not only does he have open space in front of him, he's got an escort as well, and they pick up big yardage. Escaping the pressure right. Got a man, that's Lazard. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That's a big league job there of getting out of the pocket, not panicking, and just buying himself some time. Then he made a good, accurate throw to set up first and goal. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Second down and goal. Rodgers got a man open. It's Adams. Avante Adams. His second touchdown on the season. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. And it's no good. He misses the extra point, and this remains a 7-6 game. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And Wilson is perfectly content to bring this out to the 25, a touchback. Set to take over again here on offense, Jimmy G and the 49ers. He's got the lead here in the second quarter. He's thrown the touchdown, but also an interception. As a quarterback, does that interception, even though you're playing while your team's got the lead, does that always stick in the back of your mind a little bit? For the best ones, it just upsets them that they did that because they don't think there should be any blemishes on their record. They think that they're way better than that. So your confidence gets tested a little bit. Being able to go back out there, maybe throw another touchdown, that'll tamp that down in a big way. Yeah, I say, he's looked pretty good to this point. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Good solid gain on first down, about what you'd expect from the big guy carrying the ball. Play action, Garoppolo. And his throw is incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. That's over the middle and caught by Ayu. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? You no, know, the, the drag, that guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now a give right side. It's Mitchell, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. This one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Garoppolo looks to throw. Room to run past midfield. And finally down at the 32-yard line. A big play that time through the air. 30 yards. The timing was absolutely true as he caught it working across the field. Plenty of space for him to roam. But notice how he keeps his head on a swivel, looking for defenders who may crop up out of nowhere. That turned into a big play. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Rashawn Gary. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. 
I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Going to give this time to the tailback. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he'll find QT on the right side complete. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. So Garoppolo off. Coming on is the veteran Robbie Gold for the 49er field goal. From the right hash, this from 48. And Gold is able to put it through. And they bump the lead up to four now at 10-6. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. up in a couple of minutes we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando the coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL now a nice throw here right side he hauls it in and they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down and time to give some credit to the big fellows the offensive line here because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field that time, able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. Well, CD, a lot of times, like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also, when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. On play action, Rodgers. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. He kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 12-yard line. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. They go back to the ground with Jones. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. Rodgers in control as he hurries his guys to the line. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Rodgers now, after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and Rodgers. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Jack Whiskey Tart. And the Niners are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. On first down. Mitchell, and he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. 
Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. So we've hit halftime here in Santa Clara with the 49ers out in front. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles. And we will skip the highlight show this week, get right back to this week three matchup. The Packers set to get the football first, and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action, ready for the third quarter. And he returns this to the 22. Now Aaron Rodgers and the offense heading back onto the field. And he's had some time to chew on that interception he threw on his last drive back in the first half. Well, normally we say, you want to get him right back out on the field and play again, right? But as you mentioned, had the halftime, had to stew about it a little bit. Maybe he'll have a chance to relax a little, kind of laugh and chuckle and let it go. He'll hope to respond positively here to start the third quarter. On play action, now Rodgers. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantlick. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big connection on that one, 30 yards. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Here's a give to Jones running left. Shreds the tackle. A gain of three, second down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Rodgers. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. But instead, it's fourth down. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin them back. So here are the Niners to take over on offense. They've won two straight and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to... Trying for Ayuk, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. Oh, really nice job there by Darnell Savage, plucking that one out of the air for an interception. And he flipped between free safety and strong safety in the early part of his NFL career. But if you ask him what position he plays, he'll tell you football player. The former first-round pick led Green Bay with four interceptions in 2020. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Now whistles here, flag down. I think one of the Packer linemen was moving. Maybe anticipating a blitz and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up and they jumped. And they'll try again here first and goal after the false start. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. The give is to Jones. Down at the two. Broke through the first contact, but ultimately stopped short of the goal line. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. 
toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that it goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. And Crosby puts it through, and that gets them back within a single point. It's now 10-9. to nine. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. No return here for Wilson. It's a touchback. It'll come out to the 25. Here comes Jimmy Garoppolo now to lead his offense back out there. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides, and there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. To throw again on second down. Garoppolo, and right back to Kittle. This time he's got it. Five yards, now it's third and five. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. They're able to haul it in as Kittle. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, a lot of times when you get a magical third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Back to the air on second. It's Garoppolo. He looks for Ayuk again. This time he's got it. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 38-yard line. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. Sermon now on first and 10. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Working with his second and four. First man through, it's the fullback use check. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's gonna go down in the backfield. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. After a play like that, it should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. The Niners on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This will be third and six. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. And he is going to have the 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. Now a play fake, Garoppolo. That's going to be caught. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Brandon Ayuk, a 24-yard touchdown. And the 49ers add on to their lead. Gold able to tackle the extra point. And that will 
and sure that it will take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Rodgers on the return. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. There's still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. Just a one possession game down eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. They find some open field here. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 76 yards rushing for him. Big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. First down and much more here for Jones. And he'll be taken down at the 26. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. Second and eight. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. It's caught here by Adams. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And that's a much needed first down right there. Look, they're down by eight. So logic says they don't have to get a touchdown out of this drive. But the way things are going, I don't know if I'd put it in the hands of my defense here. You might not get the ball back at all. So if a fourth down situation. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Packers have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. So part one of what they needed is done. They get in the end zone. Now you have to imagine we'll see a try for two. And that's what the book says, but defensively, they can't hang their head right here. They still got a chance to come out with the lead if they make a play. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Rodgers will throw for it. And he will get into the end zone for two. And this game now tied here in the fourth. Still time to work with on the clock, but they wanted to tie now, and they got it. And I love their aggressiveness. Go ahead and get it done. Get the game tied. Now your team has the momentum, and you're staring across the field saying, let's see if you can match us. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as it kicks away. And Wilson is perfectly content to bring this out to the 25, a touchback. And San Francisco gets set to go here. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. On second down now, it's Mitchell. And he'll be taken down with a first down as they get about 14 out of that one. And we go to the two-minute warning. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. They've got it first and 10 as they search for a go-ahead score. Garoppolo now, first down throw. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Garoppolo. And that's complete to McKenzie. And he'll be down at the 46. So they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. Back to throw, Garoppolo. And this is going to be intercepted. 
Adrian Amos with a pick. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. Well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally, and that is a big one here in a tie ball game of the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes, and that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. They'll run on first down. Jones. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Rodgers to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I've got a good friend in football, always talks about predictive history. He's got one of their two touchdowns. You can understand why they tried to find him again. Weren't able to connect, but the thought, that was good. Back to throw, Rodgers. Eluding the pressure right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. To throw is Garoppolo. Got a man. That's IU. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Garoppolo the throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does, and in the second quarter, he may very well have run by him, but in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. Oh, and he'll wind up losing yardage on the play. You cannot have that, and also fourth down now. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. On the return, it's Rodgers. Wait a second, that's got to be a mistake. They declined it. That doesn't make any sense, right? I mean, it doesn't at all because you want that penalty. All right, they just picked up a first down, right? He yeah, won the penalty. I, I, I am so confused right now. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. This taken in at the goal line. And able to get... And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Except for their first drive here in overtime. And this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team, and that first drive can dictate the whole thing, because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. It's been loud in here so far. Short gain there to start overtime. Almost a tester play, wasn't it? Wanted to see if the guys on defense were gonna fit the gaps the correct way, because we're in overtime. 
So it's not just physical tiredness out there, right? Mentally, are you still doing what you're supposed to do? And they were up to the task on that play. And certainly fatigue on both sides of the football. Oh, a contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. A huge play there in overtime. Well, in overtime, I think Coach is always wondering, where's that magic line for my kicker? They're already in field goal range after that big play. I'm glad you brought that up because that magic line can change throughout the game. It's constantly being updated by teams. It starts with pregame. Okay, how, how do you feel? As the game goes on, they might ask him again. Still feel that same number? Is it a different number? Right hash, left hash, what do you need? And that goes into the play call in an OT. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now a play fake. Rodgers. And this will be caught. It's a touchdown. An absolute stunned silence here as they have come in and stolen this one in overtime. As the fans exit back out through the turnstiles, not happy looks on their faces. Feel like they probably let this one slip away at home in overtime. I would agree with that, and, and their unhappiness hurts the guys at the concession stands on the way out, right? <laughs> not stopping to buy something for the kids. They just want to get home. But what a dramatic way to finish this bad boy off. I mean, this game was dramatic all the way through. That's why we got to overtime. And then to go ahead and finish it this way, the fans streaming out unhappy. But the team that came in here and won this one on the road, they sprinted to their locker room. And speaking of buying things, dinner on you tonight, Davis. I kind of figured that was coming. So for Green Bay, they get back in the win column as they move to 2-1 and one now on the year. And they will head home next week to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Meanwhile, for San Francisco, they too will exit with a 2-1 and one record. And they'll be at home next week for a date with the Seattle Seas. Brandon Gordon certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.